got rejected because I'm trans and now my flatmate won't speak to me. So I, 18, MTF, moved out to college this year, and moved into a flat with seven other people. Immediately I hit it off with one of the boys, let's call him M. He was very sweet in the beginning, took me out for midnight walks to stargaze, we watched sunsets together, we watched movies and cuddled. It culminated in him kissing me one night. It was my first kiss. I'd been trying to figure out the best time to tell him that I'm trans, because I pass for female very well. I decided to tell him immediately after he kissed me. He did not take it well. He pulled away from me and told me it changes things. I told him it's okay to be confused, and to take some time to think. After about a week of him not really talking to me and avoiding me, he told me he didn't feel the same, and it wasn't because I'm trans, but because he doesn't feel we're compatible. I didn't believe that, but I accepted his feelings and thanked him for his honesty. Since then, he's become a bit of an asshole. He targets me with transphobic comments, and says he was joking when I pull him aside and explain why it's offensive. He doesn't talk to me unless we're in a group setting. As a flat, we were talking about first kisses, and I offhandedly said that my first kiss was pretty magical, and then he looked at me and dismissed it by saying, A, hey, it was okay. Also he just downright refuses to be alone with me, even going so far as to beg another flatmate to hang out in the living room with us so we wouldn't be alone. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't know how to make it better between us. I've given him space, and he responded by avoiding me. I tried to make an effort to be friends, and he responded by making me feel ashamed that I'm trans, and ashamed for telling him. What can I do to make it better? Edit. Just wanted to clear some things up. This all happened over two weeks. When I moved to uni I decided not to tell anyone I was trans because I was afraid of being judged for it. Obviously that was stupid of me. My other flatmates know what's going on. I'm trying my hardest to make it easier on M and on everyone else in the flat so there's not any awkwardness when we're together as a group. I was never planning on any of this happening, it just kind of happened. Maybe I should have told him earlier, but I think it was better to tell him then rather than letting the relationship develop further and telling him in two months' time. It's probably unrealistic of me to expect a relationship ever, it's become clear that it's difficult for people to see past my gender. Never a good idea to shit where you eat as they say. Dating is tough. And unfortunately it's going to be even tougher for you. I'd spend extra time getting to know people and make sure they are inclusive and open-minded before anything romantic happens. Build friendships made of people you can trust and feel safe with first. I mean he has every right to not want to date you because you are trans. That's his preference, nothing remotely wrong with that. However, he has no right to make transphobic comments and make you feel uncomfortable in your own living space. It might be helpful to tell someone else in the household. I'm afraid that if you confronted him alone he might get angry and do something. But if you have solidarity from the other housemates it might help. Otherwise I suppose you could explain the situation and move out on your own. You told him you was a transgender after you kissed him so what did you expect was going to happen? He didn't know you was a transgender until you mentioned it unfortunately and from his sexual preferences he is not rainbow flag. So next time you should mention it from the beginning of the conversation. As for me, I'm a transgender woman, after meeting someone new, I let them know after a couple of hours meeting and talking with them. I'm always up front, so that I don't waste anyone's time. I feel worried about this because I have an intersex condition. I look like a girl outside, I have a vagina and all, but I've got testicles inside of me. I'm biologically male. There's guys have told that wonder why I've told them at all, because it doesn't make a difference. There's guys have told that have physically lashed out at me before we've even held hands. He's an asshole. He's not entitled to act like an asshole because you're trans. He isn't entitled to make you feel like shit because you are trans. You deserve someone who will love you for you. I encourage you to continue looking for that someone elsewhere. You don't deserve to settle or to take abuse just because you're trans. Him not wanting to date a trans person is okay in my books. You can have sex, relationship with whoever you want. What he did after was just plain bullying and he is a toxic person. He was probably very offended at the breach of trust after you didn't tell him for so long. Not to mention the shock, confusion, and embarrassment. Most people would be, and honestly his reaction is better than I would expect it to be. Stop interacting with him, stop trying to be friendly. You're just making it worse. Ignore him completely and move on, eventually he will too. 
Bluntly, he lied when he said he doesn't feel, compatible, with you. He just wanted to spare your feelings. You essentially led him on, and I would honestly consider this borderline sexual assault, since you knowingly kissed him but waited till after to be honest. You had ample time to be honest, but selfishly, you wanted to pursue your own desires first. You were hoping that you formed a deep enough connection that he would hopefully, look past, your transgenderism. Plain and simple. You made a mess and he has every right to hate you for that. You fucked up, it's over, maybe next time you should inform people before making a move. A lot of men want to date women not trans women, there is a difference regardless if people in the community want to acknowledge it. It's okay to be confused, bold statement coming from you. Don't chase after him or try explaining things. He won't change his mind anyway. But op, you should be careful in the future, someone else could react way worse. Sorry, but he has every right to resent you. You told him after you kissed, which is messed up. That's something you need to state from the get-go. There is no need for him, or anyone, to be an ass to you and make those comments. I'm assuming you're around the same age based on the comments. It shows he's immature. However, I think you being trans is something you should have probably said much sooner if you're going to get involved with someone. You deserve better people in your life. Period. As hard as this is to say, and I'm not trying to be rude, but I think it's apparent that he doesn't accept you for who you are. That's his problem, not yours. Please don't chase after people, even if they are just your friends. Let the right people come to you. I promise you it's much better to be alone and to find yourself and eventually lead yourself to the right people than it is to spend time and energy on trying to get the wrong people to care about you. I hope he realizes how wrong his actions and attitudes are. Props to you for your bravery and honesty. Reddit is very transphobic so don't take advice you get here too seriously. Dating roommates is universally a bad idea, but hopefully the tension eases over time. You could try having another conversation with him where you tell him respecting you is mandatory. If he keeps being disrespectful, then you'll have to see if he can leave or if you have to. He's clearly uncomfortable around you and for good reason considering your dishonesty. You should be upfront from the beginning next time so as to avoid this issue and be more respectful of others. Honestly he's an ass, and you should be more careful next time. Tell your potential partner that you're trans before you get intimate with them. I understand him getting a little angry, but at this point he's just overreacting. The other comments saying that it was justified or stupid. Anyways, it was something that could be avoided, so be careful next time. You set yourself up by getting involved without telling said person. They could probably feel molested or taken advantage. Try to understand how they probably feel into acting out like they did. With that said your precautions do make sense. Fixing first impressions are hard to change so don't bend over backwards to fix this. Ans what did you expect was going to happen? Ha. Huh. Yeah, I tend to agree with others here. He may have felt that you lied to him because even though you pass for a female it's different than actually being a female, and when you said you weren't actually a female it broke the illusion. He may have thought you deliberately hid something from him and because of that he felt that it wouldn't work out. Probably had little to do with being trans in itself. Relationships are based on trust so next time tell him up front or advertise it in some way that lets everyone know. It's kind of a shame because if he felt that way about you theoretically it shouldn't really matter but everyone has a preference and nobody wants to be tricked. If you're post-op, there might not even be a reason to say anything because then you are fully a female. Pretty sure this is some form of sexual assault. Yeah, BCZ he taught YHAT op was a girl because op didn't told him after a long period of dating that she is trans. It's called deception bro and it's not nice at all. You tricked him into kissing you. What the heck man. Reddit is filled with transphobes. I wouldn't come here for advice. The guy sounds transphobic and I don't think you should want to fix your relationship with him. I'm sorry you have to deal with so many assholes. I would switch housing when you can. Okay so we've learned to not shit where we sleep, ask them about their thoughts of LGBTQ, and to mention if er rainbow flag before doing anything. The transphobia in this thread is fucking astounding. The Unabomber was a wannabe trans. True story. For future reference, MTF without declaring it will be perceived as a catfish by most straight guys. At worst, it makes a fool out of their sexuality orientation and creates hostility. No straight man wants it on their name that they've been tricked by a trans woman. 
don't wait till they have kissed you. The whole, not their business, argument really falls apart fast when it comes to sex and romance. You can probably be more flexible with fellow LGBTQ about this, but straight men are not down for this type of relationship. My FTM son thought he would never have a relationship because of this. He's now in a loving relationship and he's very happy. My daughter is dating a FTM and they're both very happy. I think my advice would be to let the person know beforehand. A. He's allowed to decide who he dates. From his point of view, he thinks you tricked him. I get it that you didn't mean to but that doesn't mean you get to decide how he feels. Not wanting to hurt someone doesn't mean you didn't hurt them. Anything that could be considered sexual assault shouldn't be done until you get things you were hiding out of the way. I don't think you picked a bad time but there was a pretty good chance of exactly this outcome happening and you knew that. For his comments he is out of line and is a homophobe and a transphobe. In the future, don't date flatmates. It doesn't turn out well for straight cis people either. Don't mix where you live with dating until you're much further in a relationship. Leave him be, he is what we call an asshole. I'd avoid him as he doesn't wanna be friends. He probably feels, robbed, or something because you are trans. Make other friends, go and explore the campus and have fun with other people. Forget him. I think he is angry with himself that he had feelings for you. But doesn't know how to process them. So he lasses out at you when see you. Well my friend, 20F, claims she's bisexual, although I definitely believe she's straight, and I think maybe growing up religious has made her thinking that just because she knows a girl is pretty and would kiss one drunk but nothing more sexually, but she invited a guy over her house that she knew from college and they were making out and when she went to undo his pants he stopped her and said that he was trans and that he actually still had female body parts. She was mortified and never talked to him again either. I mean I'd be pissed if that happened to me. You should have told him as soon as you started getting close. He's probably wondering does it make him gay or questioning whether people are gonna give him a hard time about this if anyone finds out. I was about to give him the benefit of the doubt, as you did, but once you mentioned how he has changed, well, he seems not worth your effort and time anymore. You shouldn't try to make it better between you, as it sounds like you've done what you can, and it is clear that he would rather subject you to cruel transphobic jokes and shame than be mature and change his thinking. Find people who support you, who care about who you are. You deserve better than awful people like him. Are all your other roommates safe humans? His behavior is disgusting. I am so sorry this happened to you. I say leave him alone. You've done everything you can. Just cut him off. He's being petty because he can't believe he's attracted to you and that's his transphobia speaking. He didn't even have a good reason. He just gave that silly half-hearted response. Not compatible, my foot. And he certainly didn't have to be an asshole afterwards. You don't deserve that coldness. It's not your fault. And you have every right to expect a relationship. Don't say things like that. You'll find someone who wouldn't treat you like that. I have trans relatives and friends. Most of them are in happy relationships with cishet people. You'll find someone. If you're going to continue living there you need to set boundaries. But if there's any chance his nastiness is going to escalate you may have to consider your safety and try to find a new place to live. Also fuck some of these comments, you are not obligated to tell people you're trans the minute you interact with them especially since that can literally get you hurt and it was a goddamn kiss if this fucker is significant other transphobic and insecure that kissing you was so traumatic he can go fuck himself with a cactus. You're a woman and have nothing to be ashamed of. Please, ignore all the transphobes and uneducated bozos saying you should have said it from the start. They don't know what it's like to be trans. They have no idea how scary it is because there are too many violent transphobes out there. They don't know what it's like to be tiptoeing around the edge of the dating circle cause you're always trying not to offend people. Enough of that rubbish. You told him early and you told him when you had built up the nerve to say it. That's all that matters. Honestly he's an ass, and you should be more careful next time. Tell your potential partner that you're trans before you get intimate with them. I understand him getting a little angry, but at this point he's just overreacting. The other comments saying that it was justified or stupid. Anyways, it was something that could be avoided, so be careful next time. Also I don't think there's anything else you can do. Just have a supportive group of friends near you if you're in his proximity. Lol so you create this whole mess, basically ask for it and now you're looking for pity. Get over yourself. He's a horrible person, why are you trying to fix things? 
You didn't do anything wrong. Leave him alone or call him out for being transphobic. It's your choice. You cannot make someone act nice to you when they don't want to.